Hi. In the module 1, we are using computer vision with deep learning to calculate the vehicle density in a video, which can be live feed from traffic CCTV cameras. For the demonstration purposes, we chose a video from YouTube, which is of 30 seconds length. So this is our video and we are going to annotate this video on our model. Our model is a deep learning model, which is of YOLO architecture. So let me run it. So while it's running, I'll quickly show you the documentation that we have done. This is my repo in GitHub. This will also be included in the project repo that we are going to submit. And let's go back to our demonstration. As you can see, on the left hand side in the command prompt, you can see four different information data points. One of them is frame count and the other is cars, trucks and motorbike. You can see the number of cars, trucks and motorbikes from the annotated video that YOLO is giving us. So this information will be used to calculate the vehicle density and that piece of information which will be sent into the Q-learning model in module 2. So this Q-learning model will give us the traffic configuration for a particular junction depending on the input it receives. So this is how we achieve dynamic traffic management and we have actually tested this uh, video uh, annotating this video on various other architectures also and we found out that YOLO outperforms all of them. This is the YOLO video that you have seen before live annotated video and this is an SSD architecture video single shot multi box detector so this architecture is faster compared to YOLO but it has a very low accuracy and we have another model mask RCNN so this model is slower compared to RCNN but an accuracy is quite higher than SSD we have another annotated video this is Bangalore traffic video so you can see the congestion but the model is able to detect most of the vehicles in the video so we are only detecting one in eight frames so what i mean is out of eight frames as you can see in this command prompt starting from zeroth frame we are only annotating the video or the frame only one frame in eight this is because the frame rate that we have achieved using this architecture is 2, 2 frames per second. It looks a very low frame rate, but we only have to look once to actually count the number of vehicles in a video. One frame. That is all. Thank you. So let's take a look at mean vehicle speed maximization metric. So for the first case, we will be seeing the simulation with preset static signal times. So as you can see here, the top and the bottom lanes, the vehicles are not in much movement because of the preset times. So when we fit our algorithm in this and see how this improves the current state, you can see how there is more movement of vehicles in between, like how the vehicles are in constant movement, which is ultimately the goal of our algorithm. Now for the second metric, which is minimizing the queue lengths. Let's again take a look at the preset uh, traffic timings. As you can see, the queue lengths are really high. They're going till one end of the road. So now our algorithm will work and try to minimize this queue length. And let's see how the results are. You can see how well it is considerably reduced the queue length here. To simulate the whole environment, we use this tool called uh, SUMO or simulation of urban mobility along with the Python package called traffic control interface using which you can interface between the roads and the traffic control and etc. So the whole scenario we mapped uh, using the Kaudanahalli uh, area in Bengaluru. We made use of the open street maps and exported a map of the area. So uh, to quickly get you through the installation and setup, you just have to follow the commands that have been already put here. 
let me quickly walk you guys through the code so this data folder right here it has all the map files required to uh, run the simulation uh, when we export a map we have to convert it into a network and add some vehicles to it and set the routes for the vehicles so that we finally get a configuration file that you can load into the simulation and see how it runs if you look at how the algorithm itself runs there are two main files here one of them is the edge density reward now in the edge density reward the way we calculate the reward is that we have uh, two different states which is the current state and the next state so the reward itself will be calculated as what is the variance of the different q lengths before a configuration is set and what is the variance of the different q lengths after the configuration is set so if the if the q lengths are very unbalanced if one of the queues alone is very long then this variance will be very high so whereas if the q lengths are more balanced the variance will be less so this is what we're trying to give as a reward to our whole learner so that it will try and balance the q lengths as much as possible whereas in the other metric wherein we will try to increase the average speed of vehicles we will get the all the vehicles uh, speed at any instance of time and we will try to see what is the old minus new how much has our average speed increased after going to the new state so the model itself will try to remember this the current state and the next state and how much reward it has gotten for it and that's how the whole learning will happen so we trained the whole model for uh, uh 2000 plus epochs and uh, we have the saved weights in the files here so you can directly load it from here and also run it and apart from this there is a consolidated results or pi file uh, you, uh, which will uh, try to read the results and give us the percentages and just some visualizations etc meanwhile i'll show you the visualizations that we've achieved also um, <clears throat> if you look at the comparison plot uh, so this is our edge di edge density uh, reward metric, the Q length metric. It tries to maintain the Q length at a at a static level of one, not more than one fifty mostly. Whereas the mean speed reward metric, it is uh, the mean speed reward metric does not try to minimize the uh, Q length. So you can see how high the Q length can go in the absence of a Q uh, Q density uh, minimization metric. So that is a comparison and uh, for the performance of how the mean speed reward itself is working you can see how the reward itself tries and converges to a lower uh, value as the epochs increase so that is a result of our training so finally after you're done with the setup installation and once you understand the code you can quickly go and run these commands in your uh, in the root of your uh, clone repo and see how the simulation fires so like if i run the mean speed reward i would wait have to wait for some time and the whole trassy server will fire and it'll take some time to load the module so let me not load it right now if you let it run then you will see something like what i showed in the demo in the beginning <laughs> 